In today's video, we're going to be upgrading the headlights on a 2020 trimmer to these Oxido LED bulbs. Now, this is how these bulbs look on my 22350. So here is how the headlights look stock, more of a yellow tone. We're going to change hey, these out. Up, oh, check it out. It's Power Stroke Tech Talk. So what we're going to do here different from what we usually do is we're not going to remove the headlights and the grill and the cover. We're actually going to access the back of the headlight by removing the air box. So significantly quicker and easier. That's a tip I heard from Power Stroke Tech Talk. Unfortunately, I already did mine the hard way, but we're going to show you guys the easy way. Now on the driver's side, we just have to remove the battery and then we can get to the bulb. It's going to be a little bit, a little bit tight, but significantly quicker. Let's go ahead and show how this is done. All right, so in just taking out the battery, we can reach our hand in here and very easily touch our headlight bulbs. Uh, the lower one's gonna be a little bit harder, but nonetheless, it can be done. Let's I love trucks. get in there and look. You guys see it? I don't know if the camera can pick. Oh, it's right there. Wow, this is way easier. All right, let's get these switched out. So I got the first bulb out and here is the look at the headlights we're gonna put on the truck. They are the Oxido headlights. And if you are interested in these lights, I've got them, on my, got them on my 350. They're working really good. Improved visibility, improved the look of the truck by having the white bluish tint light coming out of the front versus the dull yellow light. It really makes the truck look a lot cleaner, a lot more modern. I don't know why they still put halogen lights in these trucks anyway, but discount code DS-Trucks, and I'll also put a link down below. But let's go ahead and open this up and see how these bulbs look. So this is cool because they give you a pair of gloves so that you don't accidentally touch the element and cause damage to these. Even with the gloves, we're not going to touch this. But a couple things to watch out for. So if you take out your light and you don't see a red O-ring on your old light, that means that the O-ring is still on the truck. Now from here, we can reach in here. And we can see actually from this angle, that red O-ring is still there. So I reach in here and grab that thing out of there. And voila, there it is. And that's how it tricked me up. The first time I did this, I'm like, what gives? I can't get the light to fit in the, into the socket. Well. When you take out the original bulbs, they leave their O-rings behind. And there's not enough clearance to put these in. These bulbs are not hard to install once you remove that extra O-ring. So let's go ahead and sneak this into the truck. Now this lower one's going to be a bit more difficult, but I can see it from here. So in doing the headlight bulbs this way, you can tell if they're fully seated by looking through the front lens as you turn them because you do not have access to the rear, at least you can't see the rear, the headlight housing, but you can see the notch. When it's fully turned, you can see that the tab is fully seated against the stop, Ma making sure you've actually turned this thing all the way. I don't know if it's coming through on camera, but when I'm turning the headlight bulb, I'm visually looking at the stops, I guess you'd call them, from the front lens. So I am all done with the headlights. Super easy, quick procedure. Thanks a lot, Power Stroke Tech Talk with A-Rod for telling me that trick, man. That saved a ton of time. Hang on, buddy. But another thing that I wanna talk about since we're here is this SNS disaster prevention kit that's going on this truck right now. You can see some of the hoses right there. There is a little bit of modification that is required to one of the hoses underneath, but it's not a big deal the level of protection that you get from the SNS kit is second to none, in my opinion, compared to some of the other kits. With this one, you get a very large filter with a lot of surface area that can hold a lot more material because if the CP4 fails, then there's gonna be a significant amount of metal that is gonna be introduced into the system, so you need a lot of filter media in order to contain everything. Here's a look at what SNS gives you. And as you can see, it is a spin on filter. And basically what this does is in the event of a CP4 failure, the crankcase on the CP4 grenades itself and sends metal right back to the fuel tank, which eventually ends up circulating through the whole system, taking out the fuel injectors, the fuel rails, it ends up being a repair that costs over $10,000. Possibly what, 10000 
12K. 12K right now to uh, get everything fixed. It involves removing and cleaning the fuel tank, replacing fuel lines all the way to the tank, rep replacing the injectors, the fuel rails, the CP4 pump, obviously, and probably some other things that I can't remember. But with this kit, in the event of a failure, you only have to replace the CP4 and maybe the lines associated with this kit and the filter instead of having all that have everything else go bad and with that being said you also gain the added filtration of this filter which is down to what what's the micron rating on their filter uh, off the top of my head i don't i don't remember i, get confused with I think it's like two class. microns or something but it's probably on here but you get added filtration that is more than what you get from the factory system it's a smaller micron than the factory system so we don't even have a filter on the return side so it's even an added benefit we're using all this fuel and then squeezing it and pushing it anything that doesn't get re that anything that doesn't get used gets sent back to the tank and we do not filter that going back to the tank so as the system runs with the sns kit on it the fil the fuel gets cleaner and cleaner as it's running because it's filtering the return fuel at a smaller micron but uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get this installed and I guess I'll show you the final product. And here is the final product of the headlights. A lot cleaner of a look, much better. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Uh, Don't forget to check us also on the live stream. Uh, Wednesday 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where myself, PTT, DST, uh, we got Rain Man, Ray Ford, Boss Me, CP's Garage, and Bearded Fortech. We all sit around and talk about these trucks, what we do to them, and uh, our experience. So, yeah, see you there. You will most definitely learn a lot. See you guys next time. Over and out.